today we are welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about our July reads. Now I have read this month I have read where is it? Crap. I have read eleven books. The first book I read was Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, and this one was on my Kindle. Dorothy and the Wizard in Oz, um, which is about Dorothy, and um, and she um, visits. She's in California visiting her cousin, and this um, earthquake. Um, happens and she gets sucked into the earth go going down into the people of the plants um and it's really interesting it's more intricate because there's different worlds that they go through so that they can get back to earth and she also meets the wizard there because the wizard um uh, um uh, the wizard, um, uh, she meets the wizard there when he also falls in the earthquake on, in the same area. And this book I rated, um, four out of five, and it's the fourth book in the odd series. I also read this, um, during the first readathon, um, uh, in July, and, um, that was the... The re um read it readathon I think, or finish it readathon where you had to either finish a book or finish a series and so yeah, the second book I read was Winnie the Pooh by A A Mail. Um, this one. Um, this one is about. Obviously, Winnie the Pooh, and it's um, told in short story, and it's got really cute pictures. And um, I really love this book. <laughs> this one I read five out of five because it was so funny. The um, it was written really, really well, and um, and it had really cute um, what was it um cute, um, um, phrases and words and stuff, so yeah, um, the next, I got, um, the next book I read was, oof, let me get this, was Harry Potter in the Order of the Phoenix, this one I also rated 5 out of 5, um, this one was really interesting about Harry Potter and obviously if you haven't heard it's about Harry Potter and um, where Umbridge comes and kind of um, demolishes the uh, system of Hogwarts. Um, and it's really interesting. I love this book. So yeah, rated that 5 out of 5 and that one I read during the some of spells. This one I read Winnie the Pooh I read during um a hashtag year thon. So um the next um the fourth book I read then the next week was um the the book two bathon and I read five books then I read, and the, so the fourth book I read was The Absolute, part, the True, Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi. This one was really, really good. I rated this 5 out of 5. It, it also has pictures and drawn really well, but it was really, really interesting, and it talked about different culture and life 
and, you know, bullying and going to a new school, learning who you are. Really good. Very, very well worth the um, National Book Award. Really, really well, well worth it. The fifth book I read then was Nobody's Princess. I do have a review up for this book. Um, and you can go in the comments below and check that out. Um, this is Nobody's Princess. And I rated this one a 3 out of 5. Um, it wasn't as good as I thought it might be. And this is by Esther Frizenator. And the next book is the sequel, which is Nobody's Princess by the same author. And this one I read it a 4 out of 5. Nobody's Prize, I mean. Um, 4 out of 5. And that one was really much better. It, and I also have a review on that one. The next book I read, which was the seventh book I read, was Eats, Shits, and Leaves by um, Lauren Truss. And this um, is an illustrated edition. So let me show you a picture. It also has illustrations. And this one was um, a 3 out of 5. It's a grammar book. And um, it's got this this really funny um, little quote and it's very informative so yeah the next book I read was um, Death Note Volume 1 and um, this one I do have a review up for this one this one I rated 5 out of 5 it's a manga so definitely has very various amounts of pictures in it and um, this one is about Light and how he finds a death note and kind of the circumstances of receiving this de death note or notebook. Um, the number nine, the ninth book I read was um, The Great Secession Crisis by Royal A. Rockefeller, and this is the first book in the Peers of Benign trilogy. This is a sci-fi historical fiction novel. Um, it's really, really good. It's got um, very various different, um, what is it called? It's got various different, like, times and, like, like, um, um, like, equivalents to the times and stuff, so you have to, there's, and there's so, so many different, like, words, like, different phrases and stuff, so there's a glossary and a time analysis or something, equivalent thing, so yeah, it's really, really good, and this one I rated, um, 4 out of 5, yes. And the uh, tenth book I read was Phineas L. Mc and I have a review on this one of this one too of the Great Succession Crisis, and then also um, I read Phineas L. Mc McGee gets Kurt cooking. This one's part one, part two. And part three, and this one also has pictures, and it's really cute. It's about a kid who gets bullied too, and this is for people ages eight to twelve. Um, but it was a really good book, and this one was a four out of five. Then. The 11th book I read was The Ocean at the End of the Lane 
Um, this one I haven't done a review on, but I will be in the future. And this is by Neil Gaiman. This one was really interesting, really good. Um, I love this story. I got pulled in right away and I read like it was really good. It was interesting. It was dreamlike. It was definitely, definitely some theories I have about this book. And you can find, find that out next time when I do the review on this book. And that was it. So I have read, um, what was it, 11 books total, and that was crazy. And I hope you have, if you have read any of the books, um, comment them below. Tell me what you thought, or maybe tell me what you have read during um, July, or what was your favorite book during July. And I will see you tomorrow, and have a great day. Bye!